everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I have a makeup haul for you guys. And I'm so, so, so excited because I have some really good products in front of me. And I just purchased these, I think, about a week ago or maybe two weeks ago. But yeah, I am really excited to talk about these products. So if you guys would like to know some of the products that I picked up, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with face first. So I'm gonna mention this foundation that I picked up. This is by Laura Mercier and it's the Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation. And I have it in the shade Sun Tan. Um, so this is what the tube looks like. Um, it is, um, I think it's one fluid, yeah. So it is one fluid ounce, but to me, I don't know why, it just looks a little bit smaller compared to my Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation, but they are both one fluid ounce, so. Yeah, so I got it in this shade Suntan, like I mentioned, and the reason why I picked this up is because I heard so many good reviews about this foundation. Even on the Sephora website, there was a lot of good reviews on it, so I'm really excited to try this. Okay, so it says, shake well before using and apply a small amount with a sponge. Blend gently into skin for a flawless, natural matte finish. So it gives you a matte finish. Also at the back, it says, the original makeup artist's favorite, this photo-ready foundation creates a flawless canvas with a natural matte finish. The oil-free long wear formula blends seamlessly onto skin, hiding even hard to cover imperfections, perfect for normal to oily skin. So I do have dry skin, but I still like to try out matte foundations and see how they work. Some do, some don't, so I like to try and see. And as long as I prime my face properly before using the foundation, I'll be fine, it won't look too cakey or dry, but again, it depends on how the foundation is as well. So I'm really excited to try this. Also, this foundation is gonna look flawless in photography because it was meant for, um, you know, like photos and videos and all of that. I will let you guys know how this works for me probably in my next video or sometime soon. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I mentioned this, but I have a combination of products from like different places. So I have Sephora, then I have Kiehl's, and I also have Flutter Lashes. So yeah, I'm starting off with Sephora first. So next I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is like a really, really old but good setting spray that everyone always talks about but this will be my first time trying this out. I've never tried this one and I heard it's great. It just sets your makeup really nicely. I love using a setting spray after I'm done my makeup so that it doesn't feel powdery on my skin and everything just, you know, sinks into my skin nicely. So I love using a finishing spray. Um, currently I'm using the MAC Fix Plus, which I love. I've been using that for like years and years and years, but I just wanted to give this a try because um, there are really good reviews about this. The reason why I got it in a travel size because I am traveling, I'm going on vacation, so I thought it would be perfect just to throw it in my bag. So yeah, I got it in the travel size. There's not a lot to say about this because I'm sure you guys are already pretty familiar with this product. Next, I have the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This I am really, really excited about. And I got this in the shade Moonlight because I think this would be a good color for my skin tone. It's kind of just in the middle. There is um, one before this. It's a little bit lighter and then it's this. And then um, there, there's a golden one and then a really bronze one. So I just wanted a nice champagne glow. So I picked this one up and I am so excited to try this. I'm gonna just mix in with my foundation and um, apply it. Whoa, it's literally liquid metal, honestly. Like, look at that. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. Yeah, if you can see that. I'm really excited to use this um, with my foundation to give a nice, healthy glow. They have a couple of other shades. Um, check it out and see which one will work better for you. If you want a more bronzy or golden um, undertone, then you would probably go with the sunlight 
or the other one I forgot the name but there's sunlight and there's this other one if you're kind of in the middle like me then moonlight would work great so yeah these are the three things that I picked up from Sephora so next I'm gonna move on to Kiehl's and from Kiehl's I picked up the um, creamy eye treatment with avocado eye cream this is not a new product for me it was actually a repurchase but I love love this eye cream so much I've been using this for years and years and it's my favorite eye cream it just looks like this I don't know if you can see it but it's just green and really creamy and rich so I love um, applying this at night underneath my eyes and make sure you always use your ring finger when you're applying products underneath the eyes especially your eye cream because the ring finger is like the lightest and it will give you like the lightest pressure because you don't want to put too much pressure underneath the eyes it's really sensitive so yeah use the ring finger but anyways I love this eye cream if you are looking for a really good eye cream to keep the under eyes nice and hydrated I highly recommend this product right here it is amazing and um, again it's with avocado anything with avocado is great I love avocado toast and I love this <laughs> but yeah this eye cream is great but a new product that I picked up is actually this one here and this is the Kiehl's oh that's the Francais side I, I should know how to read French but yeah I mean I can read it but I'll just read it in English <laughs> Uh, so the new product that I picked up is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It's a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. So I'm very excited to add this to my skincare routine and I'm just going to read what it says at the back and what it claims to do. So it says this lightweight readily absorbed elixir effectively restores skin's healthy appearance overnight okay resulting in smoother more radiant complexion by morning okay enriched with squalling I don't know what that is a oh well it tells you enriched with squalling a botanical lipid similar in molecular structure to natural skin lipids evening primrose oil rich in omega-6 fatty acids and essential oils including lavender our formula provides a boost of essential moisture to depleted skin. These naturally derived oils instantly penetrate the skin surface to help replenish it. Our recovery concentrate works at night when skin is most receptive to repairing itself from daily aggressors. With skin hydrated, supple and soft, rest assured you can say goodnight to tired looking skin. So I'm just going to apply this after I clean my skin. I'm going to apply this and then put my moisturizer on top so yeah that's that's how I'm gonna do it also this is paraben free and mineral oil free so that's great and yeah I'm really excited I love Kiehl's Kiehl's I think is an amazing brand they have really great products and if you guys are looking for good skincare products I would definitely definitely check out Kiehl's they have really amazing products. I love their eye cream and now I'm really excited about this one. So I will let you guys know how this works for me. Maybe I'll do a skincare routine and let you guys know. Now moving on to flutter lashes. I picked up three lashes. One of them I'm wearing at the moment because I just couldn't wait any longer. I'm wearing the Style Intoxicating. I really don't know if you can see them. They are so beautiful. They are just really fluffy and wispy and just really full and I love them. I love them so much and they're in the style Intoxicating. If you guys follow Amra, Amrizi on Instagram, she's always rocking these lashes and that's why I wanted to get them because she always looks so gorgeous. So yeah I love these lashes they are so 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 pretty and I think they would go with any eye looks because what I like is that they don't cover up your eyeshadow and everything on the top they're really nice and fluffy but they still like show like whatever is going on on the top so I like that you can really wear these with any eye looks because they just go with everything I've never used them this is my first time purchasing from them and so far I'm loving these lashes. Next, I purchased 
Um, provocative and crazed. So this is provocative. Yeah, I love them. It's like they have kind of like two layers. Like the first layer is like shorter and really, really dramatic. I mean the whole eyelash is dramatic, but then there's a top layer and the lashes are really separated and long and wispy. I don't know if they have like a lot of dimensions to them. That's basically what I'm trying to say. They have a lot. This is provocative. Really loving these. And these only $9.99. So I think they are a really good price as well. Wear them probably up to 25 times. Usually I wear my lashes up to 25 times or sometimes 30 times. I, you know, take care of them and praised and I will show you what these look like. I to get the Slayla lashes um, because they look really pretty, but they were sold out at that time. Praised look like. It actually reminds me of Velour Lashes Doll Me Up, which is one of my favorites. They remind me of them. So yeah, that's all I got from Flutter Lashes, just three lashes. I just wanted to give them a try first and see how I like them, but I'm loving it. So yes, Flutter Lashes for the win. That completes my haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little video and like some of the products that I picked up. If you have tried any of these products, then please let me know in the comments down below how you like them or after seeing this video, if you are going to purchase them, let me know. I would love to know. And if you enjoyed this video, if you did, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you guys want to see more haul videos in the future. I would love to do them. And yeah, I think that's about it. I will see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.